Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we will do a full comparison between the iPhone 10 versus the iPhone 8 Plus. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and also turn on notifications to get instantly notified when I upload a new video for your pleasure. Now let's dive in. Just to put things in perspective, the iPhone 8 was released in September 2017, while the iPhone 10 was released in October 2017. So both smartphones belong to the same generation iPhone 8 Plus hails from an established line of iPhones with a familiar look and a working formula. But the iPhone 10 is Apple's newest design with a new form factor and the end of touch ID. And of course, people are asking questions such as, shall I buy the iPhone 10 over the iPhone 8 Plus or shall I buy the iPhone 8 Plus over the iPhone 10? And of course, which one is the better smartphone? All these are natural questions. Surprisingly, these two iPhones have a lot in common despite their different looks. So in this video, we will do a deep dive into every aspect of these smartphones and give you a crystal clear analysis to showcase which iPhone is better for you. Let's dive in and start with the build and design. One of the biggest differences between these two smartphones is in fact their design. They look very different even though they are both built out of glass, front and back with a metal band around the edges of the device. So the build aside, we have the iPhone 8 Plus that is almost indistinguishable than the iPhone 6 Plus that came out nearly four years ago. So it is an old design regardless of whether you like it or not. The iPhone 10 is obviously a new and radical design. It steps into the newer generation of smartphones that want to give you more display on the front and less bezels. In fact, to accomplish that, iPhone 10 removed the Touch ID sensor that has been a staple of iPhones for a while, replacing it with the Face ID, which is a facial recognition utility that hides in the notch on the top. Now both iPhones have Bluetooth 5.0, which increases your Bluetooth range and offers better quality audio. They both have IP67 grade water resistance. They both have dual stereo speakers and of course they both support wireless charging. So immediately you get all these similarities despite the radically different looks. Let's quickly take a look at how similar these stereo speakers on both phones sound. But in this category, if we have to pick a winner, it would be the iPhone 10. It's got a new design, which is quite more futuristic than the four-year-old design of the iPhone 8 Plus. So now let's move on to the processor and memory. In this department, both smartphones are nearly identical. We have the same exact A11 Bionic processor with 3 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage for the base model, which is upgradable to 256 GB if desired. Both of these iPhones produce the same amount of processing power thanks to that A11 Bionic chip. Take a look at those Geekbench numbers. They're astonishing, faster than most laptops. So basically anything the iPhone 10 can do, the iPhone 8 Plus can do as well. Meaning games will play just as smoothly and of course any heavy duty task or app will run just as easily. This category is a total draw. Next up, let's take a look at the dimensions. So clearly the iPhone 8 Plus is the larger phone. It has huge bezels and a smaller screen, and that's what I really want to talk about. iPhone 10 has a much smaller form factor, but a larger display. So let's talk about that display right now. So here's another category in addition to the design that Apple has stepped up the game on the new iPhone 10. iPhone 8 Plus does not have a bad display. It's a great 5.5 inch display. 
It's bright, clear, and the colors are quite accurate. However, it's only 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080 with 401 pixels per inches, and that one has been around for a while. So the iPhone 10 has been upgraded to the higher 1125 by 2436 resolution with 458 pixels per inches, and the display size increases to 5.8 inches despite the shrinking of the device. Additionally, it is now using Super AMOLED technology, which can be found on Samsung smartphones, a true benchmark for quality displays. The result is you get a smaller form factor, a larger display, and a superior display that looks clearer, sharper, and simply better. The win does go to the iPhone 10, and just so you know, the iPhone 10 also is an HDR capable display, while the iPhone 8 Plus is not. So let's talk about the software. So both iPhones run on the latest version of iOS, and because they are equal in power, they also run it as fast and snappy as it can get. Both smartphones also offer the 3D touch capability, which allows you to press down on the display with varying levels of pressure to access things like quick actions and some other useful gestures. Mostly the overall experience is the same. You get access to all the same apps, but there are a few little differences in how you operate your smartphone because the home button was removed on the iPhone 10. It's gone, so now instead of pressing the home button to go back home, you simply flick upwards from the bottom of the screen. Same story if you want to exit an app. Another example is if you want to access Siri, you press and hold the power button on the iPhone 10 instead of pressing and holding your home button. So there will be a few little things of that sort that you'll have to get used to but internally, iOS is equivalent on both smartphones. So let's call this one a draw and let's move on to the camera. All right, so both iPhones have a dual camera system. Overall, they both produce top-notch photos, but there are a few differences. So the iPhone 8 Plus has a primary wide-angle lens with 12 megapixels and an aperture of f1.8, and the primary camera is optically stabilized. It also has a secondary telephoto lens with 12 megapixels and an aperture of f2.8, now the telephoto camera is not optically stabilized. The iPhone 10 also has a primary wide angle lens with 12 megapixels and an aperture of f1.8. And of course there's the secondary telephoto lens with 12 megapixels and an aperture of f2.4. Additionally, on the iPhone 10, both cameras are optically stabilized. So that's the difference. iPhone 10 leads slightly in the camera department with a better secondary telephoto lens. However, the primary wide angle lenses are identical. An average consumer won't be able to tell a big difference between the two cameras. Both cameras are also capable of recording 4K at 60 frames per second, which is quite amazing, or you can tone it down to 30 frames per second if desired. On the front, we have a 7 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.2 on both smartphones, but again, the iPhone 10 has a few extra features. You actually get access to the portrait mode on the front camera as well on the iPhone 10 iPhone 8 Plus only allows for the portrait mode on the rear camera. So overall, iPhone 10 has a slight lead, but the benefits are marginal. Let's talk about the biometrics and security options. All right, so the iPhone 8 Plus has the good old Touch ID, which is conveniently placed on the front of the phone. It's fast and it is accurate as always. With iPhone 10, obviously the Touch ID sensor has been removed to make room for the larger front screen, but it has been replaced by the new Face ID, which uses your face to unlock your smartphone. It is also fast and accurate, though perhaps not as convenient. I can't really pick a winner here, for it is really up to the user on which one they like more. Touch ID has its appeal, but so does Face ID. It's a newer uh, thing on the block. iPhone 8 Plus will give you slightly more battery life than the iPhone 10, around 30 minutes to one hour of extra juice, perhaps depending on use. However, regardless, both phones will last you a full day of use after a full charge for medium to heavy use. Both phones also have wireless charging as we mentioned and they both support fast wired charging which will charge your phone to 50% from 0% in 30 minutes. But you can only achieve this if you buy the additional Apple USB-C power adapter. The one that comes in the box does not support the fast charging option. You will get the regular slow charging. All right, so this category is a virtual draw. So let's talk about the prices. So the iPhone 10 starts at $1,000 for the 64 gigabyte model and $1,150 for the 256 gigabyte model. iPhone 8 Plus is $800 for 64 gigabytes 
and $950 for 256 gigabytes. So basically the iPhone 10 is $200 more than the iPhone 8 Plus. All right, so let's put everything together and define a conclusion. So the only way to conclude this comparison is to first list everything that the iPhone 10 has or is better at than the iPhone 8 Plus. And then we can list what is the same or almost the same in both phones. Let's take a look at the first part, iPhone 10 advantages. Number one, iPhone 10 has a better design. It's a full refresh and does away with the four year old design of the iPhone 8 Plus. Number two, iPhone 10 has a superior display with a higher resolution and HDR capabilities. Number three, iPhone 10 has Face ID in place of Touch ID. And wow, that's it, a new design and a better display. The Face ID may or may not be considered a better feature than a Touch ID. You can let me know in the comments below, but it certainly is a new and enticing technology. Now let's talk about everything that is virtually identical on both smartphones. Number one, the processing and internals are exactly the same. Number two, the cameras are nearly identical with minor differences. The end quality is almost the same. Number three, both smartphones have the same operating system with full access to the same app ecosystem, gaming, augmented reality, and all other apps will run equally well on either iPhone. Number four, both phones have wireless charging and the fast wired charging option. Number five, which is the final one, we have a similar battery life again with some minor differences. All right, so look, the biggest difference is the design and display. As such, is it worth getting the iPhone 10 over the iPhone 8 Plus? Yes, it is. iPhone 8 Plus design is old. It's identical to the iPhone 6 Plus from years ago. If you buy the iPhone 8 Plus over the iPhone 10, you will regret it later. You are going to have the buyer's remorse. So get the iPhone 10 now for maximum satisfaction. However, everybody is different. If you don't care too much about the design, if you actually like the way the 8 Plus is set up, the way it looks, just get the 8 Plus because it is clearly a flagship smartphone comparable to the iPhone 10 on many levels. It's not a joke. It's a powerful device, great camera, and $200 cheaper. But if you're on the fence, undecided, confused, just go to the side of the iPhone 10 and get it. If you have the iPhone 7 Plus, 6S Plus, or 6 Plus, obviously skip the 8 Plus and go straight to the iPhone 10 for the newer and fresher design to feel like you have truly upgraded. I know that the price is $200 more for the iPhone 10, no matter how you look at it, but it is what it is. If you want the 10, dish out the extra $200 and get the latest from Apple. And that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to let me know in the comments section below which phone you chose and why. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you do use Instagram or Twitter, make sure to follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day.